Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Marianne de May and I will introduce you to the Master of Bioscience Engineering uh, Cell and Gene Biotechnology at Kent University. Our master uh, wants to deliver responsible and professional bioscience engineers that can uh, work together in multidisciplinary uh, teams that can or have solving skills to uh, uh, solve in a creative way uh, conceptual problems um, that has a good basics and fundamental knowledge in cell and gene engineering which means that um, they know the tools and methods of molecular biology, bioinformatics and biotechnology um, as well for applications in humans, animals, plants and microorganisms. And of course our bioscience engineers have to be able to uh, apply these tools and methods for all kinds of applications. And the emphasis in our master is on the investigation and exploitation of the living cell, industrial applications of genetic modifications and uh, molecular diagnostics. Our master program comprises six different learning lines or teams, which will further build on your skills and knowledge that you gathered during your bachelor program. A first learning line is there to increase your fundamental knowledge and insights of sciences and more specifically in molecular biology which will increase your understanding of the molecular basis of biology. The next couple of learning lines are actually more situated in the field of technology and engineering, of which the first one is biotechnology, which uses uh, biology to develop new methods, tools, products, uh, materials, or even organisms intended to improve the quality of life. A second learning line is uh, biological data sciences, in which you will learn how to use bioinformatics and uh, computational tools and methods to research and analyze biological data. A last learning line within technology and engineering is um, called engineering way of thinking. And in this learning line, you will learn how to solve problems using a systematic and an iterative process, enabling you to create usable, tangible, but also economically viable products and uh, processes, which can really be translated to real life uh, daily use uses. To do that, you of course need a link with the professional field and society so that you get a really good understanding what the requirements and uh, questions are um, in these fields. And so a first learning line um, to, to get this insight is called engineering in a sustainable society uh, where you will acquire skills to become a responsible and professional engineer uh, which takes into account ecological and ethical aspects. And a second learning line um, is built around scientific research, communication and integrity, so that you can become uh, a scientific researcher who is responsible, creative and innovative, but also which is able to disseminate and communicate um, the science and the results that you have towards society as well to the scientific community. Our master is an international master, which means that the master is completely taught in English. And if we look at the organization, then you can see that the master comprises two years of each uh, 60 credits. So during your first master year, you will have only classes while during the second uh, master year, 50% of your time will be spent to following courses, while the other 50% will be dedicated to master dissertation research. 
If we look now closer to the structure of the program and which kind of classes you will get, then a first group of classes, which are called general classes or general courses, uh, will allow you to create a very strong foundation within cell and gene biotechnology. So in total, these general courses comprises 13 different classes uh, accounting for 56 um, credits. And these classes are also actually uh, uh, situated around these six different learning lines. So for example, in the learning line molecular biology, you will get classes like protein chemistry or gene regulation and epigenetics. But then in the learning line biotechnology, you will get the uh, knowledge and insights of uh, tools and methods um, in biotech for plant, industrial and human and animal applications. While for biological data sciences, you will classes that will give you the basics of bioinformatics and genome analysis. And then in the learning line engineering way of thinking, um, you have classes like experimental design, process engineering tool, uh, bioimaging and image informatics and microbiomics. As it is also important to have this link with the professional field and uh, society, as well um, be able to be a scientific researcher that can communicate well um, in an integrated uh, way, um, you also have classes like management for engineers and then biotech in a professional and societal context. Next to these general courses, you can, are able to um, specialize yourself in one of the four different uh, majors that we have. So depending on which major you take, uh, you will gain 20 to 22 uh, credits. A first major that you can choose is the red biotech or the biomedical uh, biotech major. Um, in which you are, are getting classes which focuses on human health and uh, animal well-being and performances. And so in this major you will have classes um, like immuno immunology or um, looking at the interface processes between a host and uh, the associate microorganisms or looking at uh, how nutrition uh, plays a role um, but then from a biochemical and molecular aspect, as well as stem cell biology and reprogramming and cancer genetics. The second major is the green biotech or plant biotech major, which focus on the molecular aspects and, uh, within a plant cell um, and how it interacts um, towards its environment and so you will get classes like plants, pathogens and pests. You will look at plants and the microclimate but you also will look at plant breeding techniques but then from a molecular aspect as well as uh, to advanced plant phenotyping technologies and you will also learn about functional plant biology. With these classes, uh, you will be able not only to engineer a plant, but also to research the plant at a molecular level and to uh, understand its interactions with the environment so that for diseases or for better cultivation, you can find innovative um, solutions. A third uh, major is the white or industrial biotech major in which the focus is on microbial cell factories or components of it like um, enzymes and to use these in processes to create all kinds of uh, products and materials that have applications in pharma, food, cosmetics and uh, chemistry. And so within this major you will get uh, classes like industrial fermentation and downstream processing uh, metabolic engineering of microorganisms, functional metagenomics, uh, as well as uh, synthetic biology and enzyme engineering and modeling. 
The last nature is the computational biology nature, in which the focus is on a broad set of computational methods and tools for, uh, for example, biological data analysts, um, such as databases, machine learning, advanced mathematical mod models, but also Linux for bioinformatics environment and integrative biology. And so this is expanding your knowledge and use of bioinformatics and digital tools to research and analyze biological data. For the remaining classes, you can uh, opt to further um, intensify your knowledge and skills towards one specific aspect of uh, biotechnology. But on the other hand, you can also further um, expand your skill set and knowledge. For this, you can actually choose up to 14 or 12 credits um, from five different uh, modules. So if you want to specialize yourself in specific aspects of biotechnology, you can choose any major class that you didn't take up yet, or you can uh, choose from a list of elective classes that are specialized classes. On the other hand, if you want to diversify your program, you can choose classes from the modules uh, Entrepreneurship and Management, um, Skills and Attitudes, so for example, Internship or English for uh, Scientists, as well as any class um, from any program at uh, UGENT or VEB. The last 30 credits are collected through the master dissertation, which will allow you again to further specialize yourself within one aspect or to diversify your uh, skill set and knowledge. During the master, there is also the possibility to go abroad. Um, so you, there is student mobility and typically what we see is that students um, go away to uh, another um, foreign institute for one semester. Um, and typically we see that, that this is happening within the first uh, master year. Um, we have collaborations with um, institutes within Europe as well as outside uh, Europe. So um, as I listed here, some of them, but as you can see within Europe, you can go to the North or the South, um, but also outside of Europe, you can go more east or uh, west. So um, there are many different uh, options. If you don't want to go away for one year, uh, one semester, you also can actually uh, increase your skills in internationalization through, for example, an intensive program like the iGEM competition or taking up like an internship which can be done in an international environment or abroad um, and then of course another option is to uh, take up a summer school at a foreign institute if we look at the professional field then it's very important to realize that actually flanders is a biotech hub and that flanders is centrally located within the european life science network and so what we can see is that actually companies within biotech are clustered around the universities and research centers and Flanders is actually very active within biotech and so more than 300 companies are active within the life sciences of which 150 companies do R&D activities. But more importantly, um, if you look at the market, then you can actually see that 24% of the total European biotech market is located within um, Belgium. And this is of course because um, these biotech companies are very well linked with the research institutes that are performing biotech uh, research at the foreground of knowledge. What are now the main fields that our uh, bioscience engineer cell and gene biotechnology is active? So if we look at these, then we can see that uh, besides the real fundamental biotech industry, 
Um, they are also active and working in research institutes or universities, but also at government institutes and agencies, as well as uh, the, the main applications of biotech, so in the pharmaceutical and biomedical industry or the food and feed industry. However, I want to note here that uh, our program is a very polyvalent program and so um, sometimes students think that the major that they will take up within the program will determine their professional field, but that's actually not true at all. If we look at their career path eh, and which kind of functions they uh, perform, then you can see that our bioscience engineers, cell and gene biotechnology, um, perform R&D functions, uh, mostly during the early career stage, while later on they move more towards man management functions. And as said before, the major is not determining uh, your professional field because we see that a lot of bioscience engineers are actually changing sectors throughout their careers. If you want to read a little bit more about these profiles of our alumni, then you can uh, go to the following uh, websites um, to read their testimonials. Which kind of uh, employers are we talking of? Well, of course, universities and research institutes, but also government institutes and agencies, as well as bigger players as uh, smaller biotech companies within these different um, fields. So for example, uh, you have a DSM or new science within the food and feed, but also a Janssen's Pharmaceutica or Tygenics uh, within the biomedical and pharmaceutical uh, field. So to conclude, uh, our master program um, bioscience engineering cell and gene uh, biotechnology is a solid and multidisciplinary program which uh, will allow you to gain a broad basis um, complemented with uh, a more specification uh, through a major and then through the electives and the master dissertation you are able to further expand or intensify your knowledge and tools in one aspect or multiple aspects, uh, like you wish. And again, just to stress this, uh, the major choice is not job deciding. We uh, know this because uh, you get a broad basis that is proficient for each se sector. And also we see this uh, in real life as our bioscience engineers are changing sectors throughout their career. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me or you can also contact one of the major responsibles. So, for example, if you want to have more information on the biomedical major, you can contact Professor Tom van der Wiele. If you um, have in, uh, questions on the plant biotechnology major, you can contact Professor Danny Gehlen. Um, you can contact Professor Tom de Smet if you have questions on the industrial biotechnology major and you can contact Professor Tim Le Meijer if you have questions on the computational biology major. Besides, if you have questions on internships or mobility in general, you can uh, contact uh, Professor Paul van der Meijer or uh, Professor Danny Gela. So with this, I conclude this information session and thank you for um, listening and um, following this information session.